Thank you very much for joining me. How you been? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back, 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 Steve Ranazizi. I'm the guy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's January 6th, uh, two years removed from the great insurrection, the the new white holiday, all white holiday. This is a holiday for white people. We've Happy just anniversary, you guys. Yep, Brenton is <laughs> celebrating. Apparently, there's some sort of uh, Proud Boys meeting down in San Diego he has to go attend, so uh, that's good. At least, you know what, it... it, it, it it hasn't been the easiest of weeks, but I'm glad that you guys haven't let anything in the news damper your spirits to celebrate today and what it's what it means to you guys, uh, your group and uh, all the guys that you're associated with. Just going to so, get out there and steal a podium from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, steal a podium, um, uh, you know, take your shirt off and wear face paint. So... <clears throat> I, I will say, feel... Steve, there's yeah, no ahead. Speaker of the House right now, so... Now, so... Who, who there's no hey nancy we're here what are we gonna say now hey guys no one's home guess what we're coming in we're coming in today's the day that they should have gone in because mm -hmm. it's truly chaotic i mean look it's pretty chaotic probably every day on on uh capitol hill but today is pretty you know they don't even know what they're doing i mean kevin mccarthy my god i mean how many times are you gonna get told no this guy is like when I heard him say, this is my job, I earned it, I go, oh, this is going to be great. This is what America needs. America, after Monday night, America needed something to, to kind of like take its mind off of, of tragedy and shit and unfair bull bullshit. And they go, oh, here we go. Thank goodness, Congress. Thank you, Congress. Thank you so much for providing the truly unbelievably stupid show that we needed right now. The mindless television. How many fucking times are we going to vote? And in each time, it's like, how, you know what, the interviews I keep seeing with him after, it's like, well, he's like, you know, it it's it, it, your practice makes perfect. It's going to take a couple of times. Like, how bad of a negotiator are you that it's taken six times back and forth to go like, like, at what point are you going to be like, what do you want from me beyond my name not being on the fucking speaker? You know, like, what do you want? And then either give it to him or don't give it to him. But it's what we needed. And so, yeah. Cheers. Happy January 6th, everyone. <laughs> Here's a Canada dry to you. The official uh, ginger ale of January 6th. So, yeah. Um, it was a real shit week. And I'm, we're doing it on, you know, later in the week than we normally do it for a couple of reasons. You know, some personal stuff. And then also just, you know kind of wanting to like digest what's going on and uh you know I, again this really i mean if you're listening to this now you probably heard every sort of opinion every take every sort of there's nothing really more that we can be said all i know is that i've like i remember in, i don't know, i think it was like 84 85 whatever it was the challenger i was in like you know third or fourth grade in school and it was like they were going to launch that thing during lunchtime, and we all went around to watch it. You know, the TV, the the, the teacher brought a TV in, like you know, you know, the fucking tube TVs. They wheeled it in on a little cart, plugged it in. I'm eating, a, you know, a bologna sandwich. Oh, there's a teacher going up. It was a big deal, and it was like, you know, then it exploded. And you were like, what the fuck? And then the teacher just wheeled the TV out. It was like, all right, let's pray for them. Thoughts and prayers. Let's go, guys. Math. And you're like, whoa, what the fuck? So, <clears throat> this to me was like. Almost the almost the exact same situation. Uh, my Trace and I were in bed. We were going to watch Old Man. You know, I was going to let the first first half play out because I look. I, obviously, there's a lot of people. There was a lot of fantasy ramifications going on. So you know, I I really wasn't going to sweat out the first half and watch it. I, these aren't my teams, so I didn't really care. But the fantasy, but I wanted to watch the Old Man with my wife and possibly maybe make love. I can't say like we're going to make love after watching the Bills fucking Bengals, even though I wanted to. So we have to do something together. You get the point. You know what I'm talking about. Actually, then, can we circle back? Because I, I, what is old man? 
And how does oh, that it's a get TV show on Tracy uh, on... in the mood. Yeah, I I take a picture of um, of Donald Rumsfeld out, and uh, <laughs> like that doesn't sound like the sexiest of shows to get her going. <clears throat> no, it's not a TV show. I t- I take a Donald Rumsfeld hel- a mask, I put it on, and then uh, that my body matches the face, and therefore now she can finally get off. Um, no, it's a TV show with Jeff Bridges on. Uh, it's on FX, but we watch it on Hulu. You know, wherever you watch it now. So Still it's pretty good. Sound sexy. Yeah, the old man. Anyway, we're getting ready for the old man, and uh, but I have the game on while she's on her phone doing this and that. Jonah jumps into the bed. He's going to get ready for, you know, to get ready to go to bed, and so we're watching the game. Jackson comes upstairs, finished the movie. He's watching The Simpsons. I don't know what the hell. Comes upstairs. We're all in the room. All four of us are in our room talking, slightly watching football, and then the play happens, and then everyone's like, whoa, and then, you know, we, we all still talked, and they came back from the commercial, and the replay after replay, and then, you know, what we saw, what everybody saw, what the entire world saw, what you heard, you heard the the, the difference in Joe Buck's voice. You heard Troy Aikman not being able to put sentences together, and this time you understood why. You know, it's <laughs> it was I, – I remember Jonah saying to me, like, what are they going to do? And I was like, I, I, but I, it was, I, was, I, don't, I didn't know. Like, it was like I had no – I remember – it must have felt like the way the teachers – we were like, what just happened? And they were like, "We, I don't know. We're doing math now, though. Like, <laughs> like I, I wasn't like, hey, I don't know. We're going to bed. But, like, I'm like, I don't know. The doctors will figure it out. Like, I had no answers. And it was super scary. And it really stayed with both of them. Um, and it was, you know, it was like, I, I, I had no idea what, what scary scenario these guys, how these guys must have felt on the field because they have been through almost everything. They've seen almost everything. You know, you see guys get taken off of stretchers and you guys see guys, uh, you know, be, you worried that they're not being able to move their legs or whatever, all, all the worst things, but like to actually watch someone witness to see getting CPR performed on them. I can't even imagine how that must. And then of course I, in my mind, I'm like, what is the, like, who, I, I'm, you know, again, I'm not a bills fan. I don't know who this guy is. But I'm like, who, who is this guy who beyond a bills player? And then you look him up and it's like, he's close with his family and the toys for tots. And it's like, the, like, it's unbelievable. It was unbelievable. Everything. It really like, I mean, it was like a, a complete and total gut punch that you had really, you kept trying to say to myself, like, dude, not like get past it or not like think about something else. Or it was, you know, it was also the timing was like right before, like for us bed, you know, it was like eight 45 by the time you, you know, it was really into it. It was like almost 10 o'clock where you're like, Oh my God. And I remember not like not sleeping. Like I remember being like, try to get, and then I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, what, how could you get, but like, I didn't add, like, this was just something that these guys do every day that I watch all the time. And I, I couldn't, I couldn't get past it. I really couldn't, I couldn't figure out a way to get my mind like beyond that. And I remember over like in the middle of the night, like rolling over a couple of times, checking my phone to see like, if there were any updates or anything like that. And, you know, the boys in the morning, they, the first thing they did was they asked me and this, it, it was just like, we no news was bad news. It felt like a fucking, Got punched, dude, to, like, start the year off. Like, the first day of school was Tuesday. Excuse me. Excuse me, I just had lunch. So it's like everyone's got – it was shitty weather. Everyone just felt shitty. Felt like shit. And it really – it took – it didn't – It I, I didn't – that feeling didn't go away from me. I don't know how you guys felt. It didn't go away from me. Till yesterday or the like yesterday morning for us when I heard like there was brain function in the night and then you heard like he actually you know regains consciousness for a little bit asked who won it was like I I I, I like broke down in tears not I, I didn't even know who this guy if you asked me if if the if the 
if the Bills had a player named Hamlin in the secondary or anywhere on their team, I would have been like, maybe sounds familiar. I don't know. I nothing, but it was just what we all kind of watched together. It was I. I honestly, I'm. I, I don't. It's like I, I don't know. We we. Everyone's collective thoughts had to be with this guy for this to happen the way it's happened. And the fact that everybody rallied around him and then rallied around, you know, T Higgins, who I'm sure felt terrible. I, I, that's the only explanation I can give to like, I, I have no idea. I, I mean, honestly, guys, I'll be, you know, I thought he was dead. I thought he was dead and they're not telling us. I thought they're not going to end Monday night football. They're going to put on the show. Cause I think I remember, I reminded, I think I told you one time I was in my Niagara fall when I was a kid <clears throat> with the family and there was like a group in front of us that someone had a heart attack drop dead. And my dad knew CPR and they were yelling CPR, CPR. My dad had a VCR camera on his, on his shoulder. And he thought they were yelling VCR and he goes, I'll get there when I get there. I'm not running over there with the VCR camera on my shoulder. And then we got there. We realized they were yelling CPR. And so I saw it like, it was like the, like, you know, it's like fucking terrible, but you know, he, my dad told me like within minutes he was like, "Oh, this guy's not gonna make it," and he didn't. He died. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, "They've been working on this guy for what is what been a couple commercial breaks." I'm like, "In what world is this gonna end up end up being good? In what world is this good?" I'm like, "We're gonna watch. We just will all watch the guy fucking die on television." And I, I truly, I that's, I mean, I would have lost. You know, I would have lost. I, I bet he was he was not going to make it through the night. And then even the next day, I was like, we're just waiting for the inevitable of like him, you know, when are they going to take him off life support? And I couldn't, I I, I, I was like, I, I cried when I heard that he had gotten some sort of sign of life back. It's, it was like, I, I that, that, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know what why it's this, why it's this story, why it's this guy. I don't know if it's having kids, having kids who played sports, having kids who play sport. I don't know what it is. I don't know. But like had this kid not or God forbid, knock on wood, had hopefully this kid continues to make the progress. But had he not, I I don't know like how I would have felt. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think I don't know. I I don't know. And so, like, yeah, we talked on Wednesday or Tuesday night about you know usually we do them on Wednesdays or whatever. It's like no one, no one was in the mood. No one felt like doing it or even like talking about like you know what are we going to talk about? We no one knew anything. No one felt good about it. So what are we going to do? You know, I felt terrible for Booger McFarlane that night. Jesus Christ! I mean, this guy's not the most uh, you know poetic person in the world and now he's got i mean all, all three of them back in the studio i mean everybody they got put in a very high pressure no precedent situation um so i think people need to ease up on wanting to cancel everybody for maybe misstepping a few times um the only one well who, it depends i have no idea i, would, I, mean, I that... would give i would give notes to Susie. they were giving him cpr they go to commercial they come back to studio and just the way Susie was pausing yeah, oh, it's like know, you were waiting I know, for her to say Tra he's Tracy gone. said, "Yes, I know." Tracy said the same thing too. I mean, look, I. I... But I, I thought they handled it as good as they could have. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, what's his name? Ben uh, Sports Center glasses. Uh, oh, Scott Van. Oh, yeah. Scott Van Pelt. He, was, he like, was tremendous. Yeah, but he's like they. That's what. That's what happened, dude. I mean, look, if you're talking about a production situation, it's like Van Pelt was probably just getting in to the studio to, like, get his suit on, have some dinner, watch the second half of the game, and then get ready for Sports Center. And it's like, boom, this is going on. It's like, shit, how long till we can get Scott ready to take this fucking... Yeah. No, no one knew. So, I mean, look, again... Who I, it was Booger? It was Lisa Salt, not Lisa Salter. I don't remember. Was it Lisa Salter's in the it studio? Was, uh, wasn't it Susie? Uh, what's her last yeah, name? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
and then uh, and Schefter. And Schefter mm-hmm. is, you know, Schefter is interesting because Schefter's a total pro. Usually doesn't like deal with like not like he almost is like not nerdy about it, but he's like more like let's just talk about football. You know, like even like all any anything else non football related is kind of out of my wheelhouse. Not I, I'm not saying he autistic like, but in autistic for football. Like emotions and stuff like that is not really what I ever associated him with being or, you know, getting emotional, not Stephen A. Smith or any of these guys. So I, but the one time I did see, I saw that HBO story about he married a 9-11 widow. And so that opened it up a lot. So I feel like because he's dealt with probably moments of just undeniable emotion where people are just either losing it or feeling something he's probably dealt with he he he's he was he to me was very calm very focused and when i heard him was like all we need to worry about is demar hamlin like and usually he's like you know these guys got to put it behind him and there's still a football game to be played i was sort of waiting for someone to kind of get that but no one did and he and you know, it was rough. None of those guys prepare for this stuff. They don't want to be. They don't want to do that. They're 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 not even great at the stuff that you know that they know about. So I, I felt terrible for them. Van Pelt ha- handled it great. Um, you know, really the only villain I thought in this whole thing was Skip Bayless. <laughs> and so you know, I mean, and, and even hot- even with that, look the tweet was him trying to be first yeah hot take. something with without thinking it through without using proper punctuation but if you really look at what he was trying to say it wasn't bad and he was actually saying like this game should be canceled the problem is uh two days later when uh, sharp joined him back on the show he comes off like a real class a asshole yeah so the tweet yeah. itself was like okay w- you said it poorly but we understand what you're saying but then go watch the clip of Sharp trying to give his monologue and and Stephen or uh, Skip just being a complete dick and interrupting him and and uh, talking about the tweet and it's just like he needs to he needs to sit down. They need to take him off air for a little bit. It was you don't need just, to cancel him. Just just put him in timeout for a minute. You know what it is? It's probably he took a day and a half of getting beat up for what he thought was not a totally. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, insensitive tweet. He thought, you know, he was trying to make a point. So instead of just taking shit that day and being like, I'm not the victim in this. Damar Hamlin is. He probably felt a little, I'm not, well, I'm sick of getting beat up and I'm not going to listen to it anymore. And I'm going to defend myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and so like he play, you, you, you feel like you're the victim a little bit when meanwhile, everyone should just be kind of worried about, you know, we're getting off subject here, off topic. So the two of them, you know, they've never – Skip Bayless has always been fine. He's always been okay. I've never really, like – I've never looked at him to be like, oh, great. You know what a great mind in sports or anything like that? So, yeah, if I'm going to guess someone's going to put their foot in their mouth, it's Skip Bayless. But that's, you know, I, everyone for the most part, everyone I, I that I've really saw, and I'm not as much as you guys are into it, but, like, they uh, social media wise, I, I felt like everyone was, you know, they the focus was on the right place. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I mean, it threw everyone off because, you know, the only the only thing every day, the next day was like the fantasy implications. There were tons of fantasy implications and are still league. kind of are, you know. Yeah, I mean, look, in our league, um, I probably would have won. I probably would have won. Potentially. In fairness to CDC, Tyler Boyd did catch the touchdown on the first drive, and that was yeah, his you guy could, going. You, but yeah, you, you never had, know. You had Gabe Davis and you had Joe Mixon in what was going to be a very high scoring game, and it was uh, going to be a very close score between you guys. So yep. you definitely had the advantage, but, uh, but uh, you know, can't say for certain who would have won. It wasn't a lock. It wasn't like, you know, you had Josh Allen or you had Joe Burrow and you only needed one point. Yep. Yep. And that's the way it is. And so, look, again, I'm not, I don't, you know, you. this is not my life. People think fantasy football sometimes is my life. It is not my life. It is not my life in any way, shape, or form. Have I ever won a championship on my own, doing my own thing? No. 
Would this have been the first one? Yes. But you know what? It's not the the point <laughs> That's is so sad. It's that not you lost it this way. That's a terrible way to lose it. It's not because oh. in in on the flip side, uh, my youngest son. I told you Jonah joined that fantasy football league, and then yeah. he drafted the team, hated it. We went one and five to start the season, and he was like, "You suck. I'm firing you. You don't know what you're talking about. What was the show? This is a fraud." I'm done with this. And he moves on. I take this one in five team. I turn this fucking dumpster fire around. We barely sneak it into the playoffs. We win the first week. We beat the 12 and one team the second week. And then we are 16 points up on the final on Monday in the championship game. And that guy that we were playing, that guy, the 10 year old we were playing, <laughs> has T. Higgins. And he scores two points. And then obviously everything happened. Mm -hmm. And, you know, look, when we went, when Jonah went to bed that night after we finally were like, look, look, dude, we're just going to pray. We do the best we can. That's all we can do. That's all we can concentrate on. Let the doctors do it. He's like, what do you think's going to happen with the game? I go, <laughs> I don't know. And that's, we'll figure all that out tomorrow. He's like, I'm probably going to win the championship. I'm like, you did not win anything. I won. <laughs> I did this. So remember that. So he's bringing home from school today the trophy. And so I'm going to take a picture of this trophy. And I'm going to claim it as I, that is, this is, I'm going to claim this is my first championship. If my first real championship was taken away from me in this way, well, then I'm going to claim that the uh, first team that I GM'd on my own won a championship. Now, granted, the ask, there's a couple big asterisks. The final game didn't finish. And also, I was playing against 10 year olds. I beat 11 <laughs> 10 year olds. And you know what? I feel fucking <laughs> really good about it. Uh, well, speaking of trophies, Cameron, if you can DM either the Instagram or uh, or send me an email, um, we want to send you a trophy. And congratulations on beating the fuck out of Steve. Fair and square. You had a great season, and he was a paper tiger, and that showed in the finals where he came up short. I really... <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> there's Remember always next in, uh, year steve there's you know that next year you know it's the uh you know the uh <laughs> the south park episode where they're doing wheel wheel fortune and it's people that annoy you and it's n blank g g e r s and i'm yeah, like well matters. i know it but i don't want to say it i know why i lost <laughs> but i don't want to say it because it's not nice yeah but congratulations to the winner well, and, we, we would not be so lighthearted if the news coming out of DeMar Hamlin's camp wasn't so good. He's uh, speaking. He has the breathing tube out. He has full brain function. Oh, I didn't and, hear any of that. Yeah, that's yeah, all. Yeah, he'll be ready for the playoffs. Um, so, you know, come Super Thank Bowl you. when the team's uh, standing up there, the Bills are holding the trophy. Josh Allen's going to hand it to a guy in street clothes, and that'll be oh, DeMar my Hamlin. God. And it's Dude, gonna be I'll a tell you what. Story. I'll tell you what. If this kid's walking around, by playoffs, it's the Bills versus the world, and and I, I'm taking the Bills. It's Bills are the new team, America's team. If this guy can sit there and walk out as an honorary captain for an AFC Championship game, or or even God willing, a Super Bowl, it's like, yeah, we'll play it in Kansas City now. If you Chiefs fans, you want to get that one seed losing to the two teams that were. Playing for that one seed, you can host it. We'll come in. I feel we'll like we did a good job. We talked about it. We got emotional yeah. about it. We talked about the, the the fantasy implications. Go over with me now because I'm still a little bit confused as to what they're going to do playoff wise well, and they, how it affects um, seeding and who's getting fucked yeah. and why. So the game is not going to be played. The NFL has announced that officially, yeah. which means by rule, Kansas City holds the winning percentage because they have they will have one more win and one more game played. 
Um, so they're going to be the de facto one seed. Uh, but the NFL has a special council meeting today where they're going to try to determine if uh, Jedi they, they, they've laid out. Yeah, basically they've wow. laid out uh, a couple of different scenarios where Kansas City could decide they want home field advantage, but they don't get the bye week. So that two seed actually gets the bye or they could take uh, the bye week and the two seed would get home home field advantage. Um, they've discussed different options of uh you know just everybody gets a buy and these teams play and these teams don't uh which i don't think is is feasible but i think we'll find out today like they're gonna run a scenario where if all the teams win this weekend which they should um then it'll be whoever the one seed is kansas city will choose between home field or taking a week off um which I would imagine they will take home field. Got it. And that way they well, don't have to, to push anything because the initial rumor was uh, that the NFC was going to start their playoffs next week and Buffalo and Cincinnati were going to play and the AFC would have a, a whole bye week. That would have been dumb. And then it would have been the AFC would start and then the NFC would have a whole bye week. Um, but that would have pushed everything i know i i also week. heard they were going to try to lose the the uh the, the week in between the thing of the super bowl and the the championships here but it's like that's the pro bowl week and probably logistically it's a nightmare for the nfl to try to be in two places at one time and on that i absolutely that I kinda and, get, you, and know. you need you need the press week it's a huge week for the press and and it's a money revenue thing and you want yeah. to drag out the super bowl you don't want it to be just one week right after the championship games um uh, but um, I'm putting it out there, Cena. If you can get to Jarrett Sidham and tell him just beat the Chiefs this weekend, it would do us a huge solid. Uh, Josh Jacobs can run for 500 yards. Adams can go for 303 touchdowns, and uh, then we don't have to worry about any of this because then everything shakes out the way it was supposed to. What is with the coin tosses? So if Baltimore and Cincinnati both win, then ball then they'll well, they, have a they coin. They can't. They're they're playing each other, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. yeah. So if Baltimore beats Cincinnati. Beats Cincinnati, then they have a coin toss as to where the game will be the next week. Correct? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so how are the Bills getting fucked? How are we getting fucked? Like, how would you, like, so really, like. Uh, just basically, we're we're going to likely have to go play, if we make it to the championship, we're going to have to go play in Kansas City. Instead okay. of in Buffalo. So it, we were in control of our own destiny. And it's not to say that we were going to win but, the game against Cincinnati, but there was but a lot about, of game to be played. What about if Kansas City and Buffalo make it to the championship? Isn't there supposed to be a, a, a neutral site? Yeah. There have been talks about that, but not if Kansas City, if they decide this is the scenario and Kansas City gets home field advantage, there could be a, a neutral site. That's another option on the table. I think that's the smart one to do. Let yeah. it like worry about like because what if I mean what if Kansas City fucking shits the bed and loses week one and then all this is don't worry you don't worry about how about how about this Steve if it does go to that and uh, they both make it and you know last year's game was the greatest game arguably ever played between two teams in the playoffs yeah. Uh, you move it to Indianapolis, which is kind of in between the two, and now you don't have weather as a factor. Yeah, and you get to see those two offenses in perfect I know. conditions. I don't want to hear like, oh, I don't know if we can secure a location. They do it all the time. What about when they had weather in Buffalo and they just moved the game in a uh, fucking two days before to, to Detroit? I'm, I'm fine going back to Detroit. Buffalo's been playing really well there. <laughs> so yeah, there's plenty of places to play a fucking football game. I wouldn't worry about that, but. Yeah, I, I, I just didn't know exactly how I feel like everyone I know they have to vote on it and stuff, but everyone feels like they're going to get everyone feels in a way that they're getting fucked, which is good, I guess. You know, that's what you want. Sort well, of Kansas City shouldn't. Unless Buffalo and Cincinnati had played that whole game and it ended in a tie, Kansas City was not in control of anything. It was yeah. it was Buffalo and Cincinnati that were in control of everything. Yep. So, well, we'll see. I mean, man, I, I, how do you feel going into this weekend? How, do, how how do you think the team feels? Do you think it's like because of the progress he's made, it there's invigorate 
in like yeah he's been facetiming with teammates um and yeah. josh said that we're gonna go out there and we're gonna play hard and we're gonna win for him so i think they're motivated their minds are in the right place and uh and all but, but you got to think the about the game like this. is at home too helps it is. tremendously yeah um i mean but there could be a letdown you also playing against a team that is always pretty well prepared and uh you know, not saying that there's you don't have a reason, but the Bills, you know, certainly probably if they were going to be not prepared one week, this might be the week that they might get caught off guard. Well, that and, and so, uh, you know, they're they're trying to play into the the Patriots are trying to make it into the playoffs. Yeah, they win. Then are they in? No, they have to have the Dolphins have they, lose. Have too. they, mm-hmm. Lucas? Do you know if have they clinched already? No, the Patriots. No. So they. I need... think the Dolphins have to lose too. Yeah. Okay. I think Steve's right. Let me double check. I'm trying to find it, but it just pulled up all the NFC scenarios. There's what so, I think. Wait, if the Patriots win, they're in. Yeah, they should be because I think they're holding that last spot. Yeah, um, the Dolphins need the Patriots to lose and Pittsburgh to lose, and the Pittsburgh. And by the way, the right. Dolphins. Uh, the Dolphins owner came out and said, uh, I don't know if it was a week ago, but if they lose and don't make the playoffs after having started the way they did, that no one's job is safe. Yeah, I'd love it if they fired Mike McDaniels. They have, bro, <laughs> you have to. You After what you did to – you're in the middle of a lawsuit against Brian Flores. You cannot fire a coach who barely did not make the playoffs and then let another coach who – collapsed and didn't make the playoffs you know just skate free right through you know i'm not saying they're gonna fire him but they definitely you have to make the threat i'm not saying that it's only mcdaniel that's in trouble of losing his job i'm talking like like tua could uh they could go out and aggressively find a replacement there are going to be quarterbacks on the market including tom brady who they tried to get in the offseason um so they, there could be a lot of shakeups there. So I'm I'm really I've never no, cheered I, I, harder that, for that, Jets. That reads the, for the Jets, perfectly. the Jets fans, that would be amazing to watch all of that unfold. Well, the Jets have their own they are they have their own problem. The they Jets are a quarterback problems. away from being a really good team. Yeah, mm-hmm. but they are but they are a very big quarterback away and they're in love with a well, they're not in love. They're you know, they, no, they, no, they no. fell Wilson, in love with a guy who Wilson's who, done. When he got benched yes. the second time, he's he's not he's not a jet anymore. They're gonna figure. His coach else told out. him to read a book this week, dude. He's done. Yeah. He was the number two draft pick two years ago, and his he he's healthy, hundred percent healthy, and his coach is having him read a book about like self improvement. Yeah, you're done, dude. You're done, the and it ain't gonna be Mike want White him there anymore. Mike White is is just a solid backup. Um, but he might not even play this weekend. No, they're going to be Derek Carr and the and the Jimmy Garoppolo and the, like the in that world. They're going to go after the one of those guys. I mean, maybe Tom Brady goes there. Tom Brady, you know why not? Tom why Brady's going to look for if he plays again. He's going to look for the best situation as far as an offensive line, offensive weapons, and a great defense. And the Jets have that. That's what the Buccaneers had when he went to Tampa, and we were like, "Why is he going to Tampa?" And it's like, "Oh yeah, because they have a top three defense and." Mike Evans and Chris Godwin, and and they're stacked. So uh, the Jets would not be a bad place to go, and maybe he uh, also looks at the Colts. The Colts are also in that boat. There are jobs to be had. I'm sure. A quarterback, um, and they could have been much better than what they were because that whole division is, you know, not good. It was Tennessee might take. be looking for a new guy too. I I don't know if you fire Mike Vrabel. No, no, I'm gonna say my fire. My they might be looking for a new quarterback, is what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, well, Malik I don't Willis, think they're in love with Malik Will Malik Willis, and I he's got to make uh, a big jump in the off season because he just did not look good, and everyone who propped him up in the draft, uh, they're having second thoughts. He he looked like garbage. You shouldn't have yeah. a a practice squad Lions quarterback coming in just signed off the street and look like you know the much better quarterback than a high draft pick. Let's just do this. Let's say, and I, I think they will. I let's say the Bills beat the fucking the uh, the Patriots. Patriots. Let's say the Dolphins lose, right? And let's say Kenny Pickett's 
leads the Pittsburgh Steelers to a win and into the playoffs. Is Mike Tomlin not considered one of the top three coaches in the NFL this year? I would oh, yeah. say he's coached. Has anyone who, done who, more who with less? Coach of the year? Yeah, who would you give coach of the year to? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe Belichick Dable. if the Patriots get in. And Dable is obviously up there. No, maybe. It's yeah, Dable's top- news. Dable got you into the playoffs with Daniel Jones I think ho- and no boy in Philly, receivers. Philly. Yeah. I mean, there's been a lot of, uh, for as many of the bad coaches that we've seen, there's been a lot of good ones. But 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 my point being, it's like this guy is, because uh, coming off of what you were saying about Malik Willis not taking, Kenny Pickens has done great this year with being the guy, then not the guy, then the guy again, and not the guy. Yeah. And just being like, whenever given the opportunity, it's like, I'm going to do the best I can do. The first time it wasn't really, he wasn't 100% ready. You know, it's a lot. He's a rookie. And then as this last couple games have gone on, he's looked more and more comfortable. Uh, you know, TJ Watt is a, it, it can, it, he, he's yeah, like Aaron if, Donald at this if point. If TJ can... Watt had not gotten hurt, Pittsburgh would already be sitting pretty. They'd so, be in, they'd probably be a couple games over 500. So that, that's a guy where you're like, look at fuck, because because they, you know, remember there was talk Pittsburgh could have a Malik Willis. You know, do they draft? pick in or they draft Willis it's like they could have but what Tomlin knows what he what he wants and what will work and what is best for that team I mean this is we're talking about possibly 20 fucking seasons mm-hmm. of 520 never not having a winning record dude that's insane in this modern age of football not having one year where you're like fuck we shit the bed this was that year. Everyone said it. I said it. Everyone fucking said it. And they still so, could possibly do it, dude. You got to be God. I mean, that guy's yeah. got it. He, he, if it wasn't for Belichick right now, doing what he's done over the last 20 years, it's like you got Michael Jordan and, and Carl Malone. No one's ever like, he's like Carl Malone, dude. He's that good, that talented, and just never going to get, the pro i mean he won championships but like never get the, the the coaching props that he properly deserves i think because you know of the era that he coached in with belichick being there and winning all the championships but this fucking guy is like insane insane that to me is like that's almost as good as like seven super bowls 20 straight winning seasons with with Super Bowls peppered in there. It wasn't like he was like, oh, we just had a good team, but we never got on top. Like, with Super Bowls. So, I'm rooting for Pittsburgh. Who are they playing? Pittsburgh's playing Cleveland. And Dude, I haven't even clinch. looked. Have they you have guys to, looked? Yeah, they have to win against the Browns, and then they need the Dolphins to lose and the Patriots to lose, and the Steelers yeah. are in. Well, I'm rooting for the Patriots to lose because I want the Bills to win. Who are the pa- who are the Dolphins playing? Dolphins are playing the Jets. Let's go fucking let's go Pittsburgh. Let's go Jets. J E T S Jets 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 because we want to see that drama unfold. I want to see Pittsburgh get in. I want to see them beat Cleveland. I want to see them get into the playoffs. But they need a lot to happen. The the ones who are in the most control are the Patriots. If they win, they're in. If or, any week, then they need the Dolphins and the Steelers and the Jaguars, like they need a lot to happen. If they don't win, dude, they could still get in. If there was ever a week where a lot of shit needed to happen, this was the week, dude. And then things could turn out well. So I'm, 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 I'm optimistic about. I would love to see that happen because I, I'm, I'm a big Mike Tomlin fan. So, um, yeah, I really, honestly, haven't even looked to. I, I didn't even I'm, look because honestly, I'm like, you're, you're playing the Eagles, Steve. No, I know that, and we're sitting, everyone. So it's like we're sit, we're in the sixth seed. So yeah, you're locked either, in. Doesn't matter, win or lose, you're sixth. I seed. think we're gonna go to Minnesota, and I love that. Well, do you need Minnesota to win in order to go to Minnesota, or do you? I have no idea, but all I've heard is that because we could if put... if Minnesota loses and San Francisco wins, I think you then go to San Francisco, and I don't love that. No, I don't love that. Minnesota, but, I love. Minnesota, I, love Minnesota. I think you you roll through. But Minnesota Minnes- plays the Bears. They should win. They should Wait, win, and, but- and they're not resting anyone that they've said because they want to keep that that two seed. Now, um, the o- what I love more than I lo- – what if the Eagles lose and the 49ers win? Then I think the 49ers get the home and buy, and the e- we might have to go to the Eagles two weeks in a row. 
which I don't mind that. Uh, I, you know what? I don't mind it. If Jalen hurts sits this week. Yeah. Then I would love to play a quarterback that hasn't played in like six or seven weeks. How long has it been? Five weeks. Yeah. I, I would love to play at, at, in a playoff game, high pressure coming back yeah. from an injury five weeks, rusty. Yes. But Minnesota is definitely the easier, better matchup for you. I like that one. Was we almost beat them? Yeah, you've already on played Christmas them. Eve. You know so, them. Yeah, that's that I like. But yeah, I know. I think it would be. And I'm pretty sure honestly, it's like Dallas going to to Tampa. I mean, unless something strange happens, I think that would be the situation. Yeah. So, I mean, I think the only un. I mean, can, are the Packers going to get in? They win, they're in, right? Yeah, I think they do. I think the NFL wants it. But the NFL is definitely pushing for the Packers, but the Lions are not going to roll over. These aren't the house cats of the past. These are so that game's the twenty twenty two Lions. Right? Are, the winner goes in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's a couple of playoff games this weekend. You got the Titans and Jags are playing for their division in the four seed, and yep. then uh, if the Seahawks win, um, then they need the Lions to win and they're in. And then if the Seahawks lose, the Lions win and the Lions are in. And then if the Packers win, they're just in. Yeah. Where's that Packers-Lions game? In Green Bay. And it's the Sunday night game. They flex that up to Sunday. Flex it. They flex it to Sunday. They know what they're doing. Um, Damn, dude. That's going to be a good game. I hope fucking Detroit just has one more like little. We'll see. I mean, uh, Jair Alexander really looked good against Justin Jefferson last week, uh, but maybe that was their Super Bowl and they don't play well this week because it's not like they've been consistent all year. Um, Jared Goff has weapons. Jared Goff's looked good. Not necessarily on the road, but Jared Goff. On the road is what I'm worried about, dude. He's played all right. Um, the last like month when he's had road games, he's played okay. Uh, but Carolina was a huge letdown. If they had just won that game, they wouldn't have to worry about this weekend. Yeah, they beat the Jets on the road. Yeah. So, but we'll see. And, I mean, this is a tough possible. place. This is not road road. This is this is and tough. Aaron Rodgers is not what he used to be. Um, also, apparently, he's dating the Milwaukee Bucks uh, owner's daughter. Really? <laughs> yeah. 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 So Isn't like- he part owner of that team? Ooh, I think you might be right on that. I think he is. Um, but the point is, he's going to be distracted. He's fucking a coworker, dude. That could be. Some yeah, sort of... no, he's he is part owner. Uh, also, speaking of people married, uh, Jay Moore married uh, Jeannie Bus. Uh, well, not, not yet. Yeah, they're engaged. Oh, they're engaged. Okay, got to make it through the engagement period, which uh, I found out can be quite lengthy. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> um. Is she is uh how old is the uh is the Milwaukee Bucks daughter? Twenty six. Twenty six. <laughs> Lucas is on it. <laughs> like the wow. price is right. Twenty six, Bob. Twenty six. Nicely done. A Aaron Rodgers. He's thirty eight, right? Thirty nine. But 39. the good news is she's not eighteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Twenty six is way better than eighteen as far as this you know, scenarios concerned. Uh, well, so you, you think he's distracted or is it like, this is like a motivational thing? I think he's distracted for sure. New relationship. Dude, he's, this is he's crazy. Not, he's not 1000% focused on football. You think Tom Brady would have a new chick like a week before the postseason starts? Um, No, but I do think he's fucked this season. Oh, sh- Yeah. Definitely. Well. Yeah, definitely he has, but he doesn't have any distractions. Like she knows football. You're just here for this and then you go. Yeah. I mean, this guy is now dating a billionaire. Well, billionaire's daughter. So basically, if he plays his cards right, he's someday, in someday. Yeah. Generational wealth. Mm-hmm. It's like marrying a Biddlecomb. Exactly. Um, well, yeah, let's get to some picks because I mean, I don't even, again, I'm not. Let me pull up my. I have. Oh, by the way, how did we do last week? Hold on, I gotta close this window. Uh, we lost on one game. What? 
What game? Uh, uh, what was the pick? What was it? Do you remember, Lucas? We definitely lost. Yeah. Right. Well, hang on, hang on. I, I'll I'll pull it up because we did it on mine. Give me a minute. Uh, yeah. but it was it was one game we missed on. Was it was it the Carolina Tampa Bay game? Did we bet that one? I think we did. Uh, yeah, it was a good week to bet against Tom Brady. Oh yes, it was a great week to bet against Tom Brady. We did bet against that one. Why don't you yeah. not not give up a huge uh, play to Mike Evans every other play? You yeah. dummies! You idiots! Uh, it was, yeah, so we hit on the Giants, we hit on the Patriots, and we did not hit on, we had Carolina just to cover three points, that was almost a closer game. Um, what was that final, 28-24? So we missed it by a point? That's Panthers. Yeah, uh, 24 to 30. Okay, so we missed it by six, and we had them covering three. So, you know, what are you going to do? This is the week, though. If you're going to bet it against Tom Brady. But are the, are the Giants the only team that will be resting? Like, who? What? No, no, no. There's going to be. Oh, Tampa uh, is, too. Tampa That's is, right. too. Uh, the Chargers are going to rest starters. Probably they'll play, like, maybe a first quarter, maybe a first half kind of deal. Um, there's a lot of teams that uh, don't have anything to play for. There's, like six games that matter and then 10 games that are just the last game of the season. So that's something to be careful about when we're uh, placing bets this week. And if you're playing DFS to really think about, and then, you know, this is the week of incentives. Like you have uh, Christian Kirk and Zay Jones are both very close to getting receiving uh, bonuses of like, a million plus so uh they're in a must-win game i think uh you know trevor lawrence is a great play in dfs and um there's a couple of guys that are like just shy of a thousand yards rushing or a thousand yards receiving and i'm sure they get bonuses for that so that's uh there's a lot of places that will publish like who's playing for what and if you're gonna bet go don't i mean listen to us and tell us because we're gonna get it right this week but go other places and see who's playing for something because that's important. I thought it was really heartwarming and funny when yesterday when uh, DeMar Hamlin's toy drive raised more money than his contract is worth. worth. Yeah. Oh, I, really? I wanted to, I wanted to bring yeah, that up. Yeah. So my brother sent me his uh, GoFundMe like an hour after the injury happened and, and it donated. And at the time when I donated, it was at like 300,000. That was on Monday. It's now Friday and we're looking at the, his goal was set at two thousand five hundred dollars. It's now at uh, seven million eight hundred and seventy eight thousand eight hundred and ninety, which is amazing, and that's going to do a lot of good. And they're going to continue to update people because it's obviously going to be more than just a toy drive now. Um, they're going to update people on where the money's going. But I think it's important if Demar Hamlin never plays football again that maybe another GoFundMe gets set up so we can send him. If everybody oh, yeah. sent him three dollars just to help him transition, because he's not a twenty million dollar player, he's on a rookie contract. He's like a practice squad guy that got elevated up when Hyde got hurt. He's no, not. This like, is a yeah. He's not a big this money is a guy. guy that the NFL needs to hundred percent take care of. We people will take care of him. Yeah, he's so a story that. You know, if and when if and when that that happens, when he announces he's not going to play again, which I mean, maybe he does. I, I don't know, but I think it's a long shot if he does. I think he's somebody that I would go back in and, and throw some money at as well because he, he deserves it. I but think yeah, that was like great. A, a, million, a roundabout way. $8 million way. in charity is awesome. That was that also was a roundabout way of Brenton telling us about how wonderful a person he was. When I donated, it was three hundred thousand. I mean, now it's at seven million, but like I was in at it super early on, like you know. No, my, my brother problem. found it like immediately. So props yeah, I mean, to look. Props to Ryan for finding it and sending it to me. Props to everyone that donated. Props to the people that and you know. the uh, the top donator right now, Steve. If you want to top him, uh, Jim Ursay. Donated twenty five thousand and three dollars. So you could donate twenty five and four, and uh, have your name on that page. Is there a max? No max. I, yeah, I hate the charity shame, but did you see the tweet yesterday with the Washington Commanders? No, what do they say? No, well, they're 
I'll, 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 but there was uh, a, like a, like a furniture, thing. the commanders gave 5,000 and then right, and then right above was like this carpet flooring company that gave like 5,500, like Larry's carpet company. And then yeah. the tweet was like, you know what I'm talking about? No. Uh, and like only. You're missing so much on Twitter. Like what a time to just <laughs> turn Twitter. Over. Elon Musk takes over and it's the wild west, dude. Just let me back in. I'll, I'll do it. Make let a new account. In. Make a new I don't account. know how to get my password. I'm not paying for a check mark. I'm not doing anything. If You're somebody hands it to me, I'll do fun. it. <laughs> um, you know who should be giving money? Mattress Mac, guy, yeah. the big gambler guys. You know the guys that make a lot of money on guys throwing their bodies around football fields. You know those guys. I'm not. <laughs> if we're gonna if we're gonna shame people into giving you know, into giving <laughs> money. But look, I'm happy that he's. Anything, you know, like that there's if he plays football, if he wants to GM, if he wants to coach, whatever he wants to do, I'm sure the okay. guy will be embraced and 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 taken in whatever capacity he feels like in football. Um, yeah, the NFL just announced they're going to do a speech speech before all games and then the Bills, yeah. Bills will be wearing shoes. I figured that. Yeah. I don't know if it's a moment of silence thing, but just thoughts, maybe like a, you know, let's take a moment to think. Yeah, maybe it's a moment of silence, whatever. I think it's, I think by Sunday, he's going to be, look, he's he's moving his hands and feet. He's off the breathing tube. He's talking to people. I, I All the organs are functioning. Um, it just seems like he had uh, minor damage to his lungs, and, and that's about it. So the news I mean, do you think the great. NFL would ever let him go destitute, bro? Ever? This, I was mean, their, this was their I absolute would hope nightmare. Not. I would hope not, but we've seen how they've treated players who have Dude. had CT in the past and have gotten hurt in the past, and it, they don't have the greatest track record. What happened on Monday was their absolute nightmare. All eyes on me, nationally televised game, and just de- what they so what we thought at the, the time was the death. Year. Game of the I year. Mean, be- Beyond someone, beyond a fan bringing a gun into a stadium and shooting people on live television while, you know, like, and and that this was the second worst thing. This was it. This was their yep. nightmare. So this, this guy is the poster boy for health and wellness now in the NFL, and he will be taken care of. I, if, I mean, just even if, even in politically and calculated wise, it's a smart move for them to do it. So, um, as they should. All right, let's pick some fucking games. I got. I, I'm looking at one. I love the Steelers over the Browns. I, you know, I think the Steelers ultimately will win, but the Browns are a dangerous team, and Watson looked really good last week. So after a month where he started shaky, he's playing like Deshaun Watson again. And next year, those Browns are going to be a pretty solid team. Um, so I would agree with you, but. I wouldn't be shocked at all if the Browns beat them because they're they're just playing good football. What a piece of shit you are, Brent. I'm sorry. I it's just, this nice little it's just, just my opinion. Fine. I'm, I'm usually wrong, though. All right. So, you, you usually are wrong. But I agree with you. Your I'm track record saying, has been... I'm, I'm playing devil's advocate. I'm we'll table it. The we'll Browns table it. The are a solid team that's a hard out, and Watson's playing good. And I think uh, what they will do is... To keep TJ Watt away from Deshaun, they'll just run Nick Chubb, who is, uh, I think he's, I mean, he's probably not going to win the rushing title, but he hypothetically still could if he had a monster game. Um, Are the Chargers playing their starters or no? No, 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 no. Yeah. Chargers are going to play maybe the first half and then rest people. Okay. That, that's a pointless game for the Chargers. Like the Broncos are a three-point favorite at home. All right. Well, in that case, how do you feel about the Jets beating the, the Dolphins, or do you want to take them plus love three? Love it. Love it. You want to take them on the money line, or you want to take I them plus three? It. I love it. Jets on the money line. Give me whatever you want. I love it. Great. Um, You know your spread for the Bills and Patriots is seven and a half here. I don't know yeah. how you feel about that. I want them um, to win. I think they I will got win them, the Bills. I got them at seven on Bet TSI. Sorry. If it's seven, take it. Seven and a half, no. Can you get us off the half point hook? That I don't know how to do. <laughs> <laughs> I 
that I don't know how to do. Hold on. Can't let me see do if I can it. Buy. <laughs> let me see. Can I buy something? Nope. I don't know how to do that. That's gone. <laughs> nope. We don't do that. <clears throat> this is. Uh, we only press it, buttons here. What what numbers are you getting for the Bengals Ravens game? Tell you in a second. I got the Ravens plus ten. Doesn't Bengals that seem, minus ten. Doesn't that seem a bit high? Is Lamar Jackson not playing? Has he been ruled out? I'm I'm looking up his uh, practice. Yes, report. dude. You know why he's ruled out? It's because they didn't pay him the money he wanted to get paid. So he he's like, I'm not rushing back. And good luck. This is what the playoffs will look like without me. By the way, you won't even be here. So. Yeah, he wasn't spotted at practice Friday. Uh, he's, he's not going to be spotted anywhere. missing the game. Tyler Huntley has been limited at practice this week. If neither of the two are available this weekend, Anthony Brown would be in line to draw the start for the Ravens. Anthony Brown. Do we know who Anthony Brown is? No, but we do know that Cincinnati Bengals behind the Buffalo Bills will be also treated like royalty this weekend because, you know, they kind of got shafted and everyone feels bad for them, so... I think they'll have a lot of emotion. They're going to be at home in front of the same people that they didn't get to play to in last week. Mm -hmm. And I think without, without homeboy, it's a 10 point game at least. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I would agree. Um, especially seeing that Lamar Jackson's not practicing again. If, if Jackson yeah. was to go, then I would be less interested. They could in barely beat the Broncos. Points. Yeah, but Anthony Brown playing quarterback for the first time. Uh, uh, yeah, that's that's uh, that's more than a 10-point game. The Ravens' defense has definitely gotten better with uh, the addition of Smith, but yeah. you're not going to slow down. You're not going to slow down Burrow enough, and your no. offense isn't going to be able to do much of anything with Anthony Brown. So, yeah, I, I, I'm good with that. Take the Bengals minus 10. Great. Did it, by the way, not to go back to it, but I'm going to. Did it not look like this, that Monday night game was going to be like a 35 38 game? Oh, it was going to be very yeah. high scoring. I know. I know. I All think right. the, the Bills are going to lose. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I dude, don't I, know. They, they walked down the Again. field that first drive, dude. Yeah. They but but so did down. Buffalo. It was just a slight overthrow of Beasley, and then the Bills would have scored a touchdown. Yeah, yeah. So but, it's, it, you're, you're not that's telling why I think me. You're not telling me that the Buffalo also marched down the field. You got two drives to our one drive, and you hadn't scored a touchdown yet. You'd only no. just crossed the 50 yard line. I'm not saying that the Bengals weren't going to win that game or could have won that game. It's just you're in the first quarter. There's still 10 minutes to go in the first quarter. It was like, very, they, very early, and Buffalo had not yet made any adjustments. They had a cornerback go down the play or two before, you know, Taron Johnson went down a play or two before Hamlin. So when I saw Hamlin I know, go down, my initial reaction but, is fuck. But let me, let me remind you, just... let me remind you that the Bengals looked like that in Foxborough the week before in the first half. They went out and they just did whatever they wanted to New England. And in the second half, they got shut down. They didn't score a point. They looked like dog shit. So keep in mind, there was a lot of game left and – Let's not discredit Leslie Frazier and his ability to to adjust a little bit to slow down Chase or take away somebody and force Burrow to do something else. But if and when they meet in the playoffs, that I think it could be I'm um, the hugest game of I mean, I'm not quite yeah, it's like, gonna be Bill's level. massive if they both play each other again. But yes. you know, I'm not saying Buffalo would have won, but I'm also saying you can't just say because Cincinnati was winning and they had the ball driving in the first quarter that it was a lock that they were going to win. Josh damn, Allen was on good. the other side of the sidelines. He would have gotten the ball back and he would have had more chances. So keep that in mind. I have another one for you. Does anyone like Tampa over Atlanta? Tampa's resting everybody. Oh, sorry. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah tampa's locked into their seeds so they are resting all of their starters and atlanta has a bunch of young guys that they're still going to want to throw out there and get experience for next season what do y'all think about seattle over the rams i have it at six and six and a half i got it at uh, six and they got it it's if you got it i also have it at six here yeah i they have to win and they're in the playoff or they're not in the playoffs. They still need Green Bay to lose, but they have to win that game. And I mean, they're going to be fired up. 
Your home. Yeah, I like that. Go ahead. Lock it in. Um, and then should we pick the, the I mean, should we pick the Packers and the Lions or no? The winner? I mean, that's that's gonna be the one that's gonna be the biggest toss up, but I think we all want to go with the Lions, even though we know that's not going to happen. So I would be fine taking the Lions and knowing that we're not going to win. But you want to take the do, Lions plus five? Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll take the Lions plus five. Okay. So let's see. 50 bucks. We. Place four bets. The hell? No, oh, it's a parlay. Oh, I did fucked wanna, this up. That's fine. I got it. I got it marked so we can just go back and redo it. Um, did you want to throw in the Steelers? All right. So we picked plus five. Yes, because I had the Steelers on mine. Okay. So you got the Jets on the money line. Uh, you've got the Bengals minus 10. You've got uh, the Lions plus five. The Steelers minus two, or if you want them on the money line, um, but minus might as well take a minus two. Uh, and then what was the fifth game? Did we have a fifth game? Oh, the Seahawks. Seahawks minus six. So, looking at the over unders too, they're all they're all pretty. Why can I not? Oh, there's only there's only it's like forty nine. Uh, well, there's that bomb That's cycle not. hitting the West Coast. So that might affect some games. But, yeah, I mean, if there are – and there's a lot of backups. Keep in mind a lot of backups going this weekend. But, I mean, if there's no wins, take the over in these games. It's just when you get that 20-mile-an-hour wind, then that's going to slow stuff down. It takes away the deep passing. But otherwise, you know. Um, I don't know why I'm not being able to – would you like me to parlay it? Hold on. So the Steelers. Steelers minus two. Jets on the money line. And Bengals more. minus 10. Seahawks minus six. And the Lions. I have them at plus four and a half, but I can buy all the way up to plus six and a half. Yeah, put so. yours in. For some reason, I'm not being able to move my parlay. Like to move I'm going to. I'm buying the Lions up to six and a half. So if they lose. Oh, go ahead six, with your fucking six skills. Points, uh okay so we have the jets on the money line we have the steelers minus two we have the Bengals minus 10 the seahawks minus six and the lions plus six and a half buying two points fifty dollars for the last game of the regular season will win lucas one thousand three hundred ninety nine dollars and fifty three cents that's exactly how much my rent is is it really well that's close <laughs> Hold on, I want. I figured it out. Let me do mine and see what. Okay, well, mine's, odds mine's are locked in. Mine's locked in. Oh, you're a cunt. Yours is gonna. Yours should be better because uh, I bought points. So yours should probably be around fourteen and change or fifteen hundred. Fifty dollars will net us ninety five dollars. Wait a minute, I didn't. Wait, do this what? Right. No, I didn't do this right. I didn't do this right. <laughs> Hold on, fifty dollars. <laughs> We'll net us one thousand four hundred and twenty-one dollars. Okay, there you go. Lucas is making a lot of money this weekend. Lock it in. Lock it in, guys. Um, speaking of locking it in, I need to plug something because it is also gambling related. But um, we're doing a fundraiser for Jonah's baseball team. A little Super Bowl pool action. Anyone interested? They love that box pool. You love it so much. Um, I got to get rid of 10 boxes. They're 100 bucks a square. So obviously, you know, if you don't want to go in all the way, um, get together with some people and and, and you can split it. Um, half the money goes to the team and the other half, the buyout. So I think it's like 625. I'll put a post up about it. I know the final is like 2,500. So um, I'll put a post up, but Venmo me or uh, I'll, DM, DM me on social media if you're interested, and I'll tell you the box numbers I have, and then you know we'll exchange Venmo stuff and we'll go from there. So it's all above board. It's for the kids. That and uh, I'm going on tour in January. So SteveRenIsEasy.com, Greenville, South Carolina, uh, Huntsville, Alabama, 
La Jolla, Vancouver, Canada, Denver, Colorado, Salt Lake City, Utah, um, Virginia, all over the place. So check it out. Tickets are on my website. So, yeah. What else? Anyone else got any dates? I want to uh, celebrate Christmas. Oh, yeah. You have to go celebrate Christmas now, right? Mm-hmm. Nice. Congratulations. Merry Christmas, buddy. Merry Christmas. The tree's still up downstairs. Nice. It's uh, it's time to take it down. It's Insurrection Day. No, no, no. Tree holiday. stays up. Tree stays up until January seventh, and we have a new House Speaker. We'll see. What's the odds we don't have a House Speaker in a week? Come on now, guys. <laughs> uh, Lucas, you got anything you'd like to plug? Anything you want to? Uh, January twenty first, improv. January twenty sixth to twenty eighth, Baltimore, McGoobies with Adam Ray, and that's Comedy Store tonight. Sweet. Just gonna we'll see. Um, yeah, I was at the stand this week, so I'll be at the stand next week in the city. I'll, I'll put a post out about what they, I think it's like Tuesday or Wednesday. So, um, and shout it. out to Jake, who's, uh, helping us put this together and make it less sloppy. Yes. Since, thank uh, you, Jake. It's pretty damn sloppy. We pride ourselves on our slop and that will some, that will be something we'll never compromise. We'll be our slop factor. So he can do the best he can, but we will continue to slop away. Um, that's the slop cast for this week. Thank you very much for listening, subscribing, letting people know we we're going to win this week. We have to, it's for the, people. those are great picks. I feel really confident and I don't usually feel great, but I feel really good about those picks. It's for the people. And I feel like, uh, the people of Buffalo are with us. The people of the world are with us and let's hope the gambling gods are with us this week. So, uh, that's it. Thank you very much for listening, rating, subscribing, and we'll see you cunts next week. Go Bills. Go Bills. Thank you very much for joining me. How you been? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Welcome back. Back, back. Steve Renazizi. I'm the guy.